So part of the unique feature of the Patriot 50 series sprayer is going to be within the armrest. Uh, a direct result of the CDPD process where we brought in a series of customers, both ag retail as well as producers, and asked them what various functions that they wanted to use most frequently and where those features should be placed. And, and that input really is what drove the design and the placement of those specific functions. So as we start with the multifunction handle, uh, we'll kind of work our way around uh, clockwise, starting with the upper left, and that's going to be your auto steer and gauge. As we move to the upper right, that is going to be your inner fold, uh, inner boom fold in and out for both the left and right hand side. As we drop down to the center, that is going to be your center section raise and lower. Going down into the bottom uh, of the right hand side is going to be these two orange buttons, and you'll see that they're labeled one and two. These are speed presets, and where these really come in handy is going to be one, maybe setting a field speed, and then two, uh, maybe a turn speed. So you can actually change the speed of the sprayer to make those turns without ever having to move the handle. It's just a push of those two buttons. On the lower left-hand side is going to be your boom tilts up and down for both the left and right-hand side. And then lastly is going to be your master apply switch. As we get down to the bottom side of the grip, you'll see this yellow scroll wheel, and this is for the speed setting. What this is going to do is set your effective speed range anywhere from, say, 0.5 mile an hour all the way to the top end, which would be either 32 or 37, depending upon the model that we're talking about. But for each roll of that dial, you'll find that there's a detent, and within those detents, from 0 to 12 mile an hour, it will change in 0.1 miles per hour. Once you get above 12, each detent there is a one mile an hour change. At the very bottom of that handle is going to be this black button with the U-shaped uh, decal, and that is your forward reverse quick shuttle. And what that allows the sprayer to do is to change direction, either forward to reverse or reverse to forward without, again, having to move our handle. The sprayer will slow to a stop and change directions, and the speed at which it will start propelling will be dependent upon what you configure uh, through the Pro 1200 display into our Viz 2. On the back side of the grip is going to be your neutral interlock and that is going to be uh, pressed whenever you release the parking brake we must depress that neutral interlock in order to actually get the sprayer to propel. Working our way into the actual multi-control armrest we'll start with the orange buttons along the left hand side working our way up the bottom is going to be your low engine idle. Next up from there is going to be an engine slowdown, so we can depress that button and your engine will gradually decrease in speed. The one above that will be the reverse of that, and that's an increase in speed. Uh, fourth from the bottom is going to be your high idle. Now this is actually configurable as well, so one press of that will take the engine to its high idle setting, and you can actually program a secondary high idle setting for something maybe less than full engine RPM. Lastly, the one at the top is going to be for traction control. Uh, the sprayer is equipped with traction control active all the time, but you can actually go in and turn traction control off using that top button to allow some slippage of the wheel if that's so desired. As we work our way around the encoder dial here, you're going to see various buttons, and these are going to be very similar in function to what you find on an AFS Connect Magnum or Steiger tractor. And most of it is your infotainment button. So it's direct links to phone, HVAC, radio, and home button, and that's going to really be dependent or driven uh, off of what you see on the Pro 1200 display. Across the top is going to be a gray row of buttons here, and one thing to make note of is the ones that, uh, labeled 1 through 4, is these are actually configurable, so if there are certain functions that are important to a specific operator, we can go, go ahead and actually change uh, what those functions or what those buttons control. Uh, there is a pump and gauge in there as well. As we work our way across the far right hand side, this is going to be your axle adjustment. So there is an enable button and then also a retract and extend button for your axle adjustment. The last row across the bottom is going to be your outer boom folds in and out for both left and right. The last little piece to make you aware of or to mention uh, would be the two buttons on the back side, the far right corner of the, of the armrest itself. The black button is going to be your auto fold. So auto fold plus, where this is a press and hold where you can push the button, it will uncradle the booms, extend them out, and drop the center section down all with one press. Uh, the exact opposite of that when it comes time to, uh, to bring the boom back in. We press and hold, the boom center section will raise, 
Uh, the booms will come in in sequence and actually drop themselves into the cradle. And then the last piece is going to be your parking brake. Uh, that is the red button on the back side, uh, kind of a change in operation from past Patriot designs. Uh, so quite a big change when it comes to the armrest display. Very user friendly, lots of frequently used functions right at your fingertip making a very simple and easy to use operation.